so we should just mm. continue with it over Con- time since you guys continue just, our shoe talk, talk here talk, yeah. this Hot is the talk. rick and danny shoe talk episode we're talking about jordans yeah. so danny you were you getting jordans when you were a kid were you a sneaker, actually are you a don't, sneaker head? no so do you got i'm chain, not a sneaker do you head, have chains that excite the feds <laughs> no no classic any uh, nas no <laughs> no one all right. No, but I. You know the Al Milmatic. It's like. See myself out. <laughs> arguably the greatest yeah. rap album of all time. No, no, I've listened to it. I just don't remember yeah. that. But yeah. I'm a sneakerhead. I got chains that excite the feds. No, not like you. It. I like. Not you. No, I like it. I, this is not you. No, though. but I'm not, not a sneakerhead. Yeah, right. But I do like shoes. But you have chains that excite the feds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna keep beating this into the mm-hmm. ground until. If you waved the wand, it would be. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? Rick? Sure. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, no, so I, I bought my wife some Jordan 1s. Nice. So, for is her this, birthday. Does she know about them yet? Yeah, yeah, she's oh, wearing okay. them. She's wearing them, yeah, yeah. So they're kind of like, they were called coconut color. They're kind of like a light, off-white, so yellow is, is Hethel a sneakerhead? No, but she's getting into it now. Now nice. that she's gotten some... Got some J's? J's, she's, she's thinking about getting more. Nice. She likes those Jordan 1s because they're low, they... Right. The tongues kind of sit up high. Yeah, it's good. Nice. It's good. Have you seen those, mm-hmm. Brennan? Yeah, yeah, they're they're just like a classic. Brennan, are you a sneakerhead? Uh, I just got some Hey Dudes. So You're going to have to explain. I don't know. What is yeah, it? What's a Hey Dude? Know you know is. what a Hey Dude is? It's these <laughs> bad boys. They look like boat shoes. They're like soft see. boat shoes. So it sounds like oh. you just took your Boston heritage and we're like, hey, I know. We, what can make me look like the yacht is parked in Cape Cod more than some soft boat shoes? Did you invite Trevor and Steve out on the yacht too? Oh, okay, fine. You no, know, Thomas got them, and he's like, I was like, those shoes are ridiculous. And I kept making so, fun of them, so I bought a pair finally. So we went to our friends, and everybody had hey dudes on except me. So I bought a pair. <laughs> <laughs> I felt left out. And so I, I wore them. Care to, to be like, different, bro. I can't. Yeah. I'm just gonna be honest. I can't. <laughs> and so oh. I wore them to the golf tournament all day, and they're like the most comfortable shoes ever. So. I can nice. see that. I recommend. Yeah. I recommend the Hey Dudes. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. I'll probably not buy any. But. Iconic Jordans, Hey Dudes, probably the, probably the same. <laughs> same. Same. Yeah. I yeah. feel like you should try them out. They're very comfortable. I'm sure they're comfortable. Sure, very they're comfortable. Com- no one's arguing that they're not comfortable. I bet They're those, very those in Jays too. Are comfortable. They're but very I, in too right now. I understand, but I'm not looking for that look of like. The, I just got. For, off, you're looking for neon. I'm not looking for the yeah. look of. I just got off the boat, and yeah. in Cape Cod. Which way? And which way? Which way? Which way is the cookout? <laughs> <laughs> what time is the is the car picking Meet us me up? Me on the dock later, please. <laughs> it's a car, please. <laughs> take a picture with our head. Just reminds me of this that wedding at wedding in the movie Wedding Crashers. Oh, yeah. I feel like that's what those shoes would be good for. Yeah. Right on the water. Yeah. Dock. It's a nice house in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> just, just commenting. Just, it's a just, nice house. just in case, in case you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> What's new with you, Danny? Well, we got a tournament coming up, Rick. Not not our annual foundation golf tournament, but our uh, yeah. member guests we're playing in. We're, we're riding off the high of finishing third in the company golf tournament. Yep, and it was big success. Thank you, Brenna. That golf event was. Yeah, how much did we raise, Brenna? One hundred and seventy-five. Wow, yeah, it's amazing. Just a mm-hmm. awesome yeah. event. I think everyone had fun. Thanks to all the sponsors and um, folks who contributed, and you know. They really, uh, honestly, the main thing is it's going to make a huge difference in the lives of our patients and their caregivers. So we really, really appreciate it. But we had a blast, and then we, our team did good. And unfortunately, you almost, almost offended, but not quite your oh, long yeah. drive title. I don't know if you want to long drive title. Was take the listeners through this. Handed to a new, new winner. I, I just have to. Um, I just have to briefly say that Beth and I were riding around, just taking pictures, handing out water and stuff, and. You know, we roll up to Rick and Danny's team mm-hmm. and talking for a second. And then Danny just, like, word vomited. He's, like, leaning out the car. He's like, I lost it. I lost it. <laughs> I lost the belt. <laughs> I was yeah. like, it, was little, it was a few yeah, holes ago. It was, and he, it it was, was still <laughs> on his mind. It was hard. It was just. Because um, I hit a pretty good drive. And that's that. Uh, that's. What I was, was so upsetting. close. I lost it. Yeah. It's like leaning yeah. out. Lost yeah. it. Yeah. And you lost yeah. it by, what, a couple yards maybe? Yeah, maybe? It was close. Maybe about five, ten you put yards. A good, at least you put a good defense in. It would have been. 
You know, at least you didn't do like the wide right. I didn't out of bounds. I didn't top it. It actually, yeah, went in the air. And... Thomas Thomas thinks everything is rigged. Like I told him, oh, yeah. you guys won third. He's like, that makes sense. But the people that won first and second, yeah. And when he was like, I don't know that kid that won. That one the long longest drive. drive. Yeah, your brother. Like a big guy. Your he brother. Like yeah, really your brother. No, not, your see brother it. had some comments. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting because well, but but then again, you know, there are some. You, you look at the pros who hit long drives. They're not all you know six foot three big oh, guys. It's not about know. size helps, but it's not you know it's Rory McIlroy is like yeah. five seven and he cranks the ball longer than anyone yeah. on tour. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's how you use you know. Momentum, inertia, power, you know. Speed of the club. Speed of the it's, club. It's that, it's that uh, mathematical equation you gave us yeah. last recording. I'll, I'll let Rick go over that. He's and the this, physics no, guy. This is why uh, <laughs> golf is so hard for those of us who didn't play as a kid because it's yeah. like if you have that correct way to rotate your body and do things, it's a, yeah. lot, it's a lot easier of a sport. Unlike yeah. idiots like me trying to pick it up late in life. No, yeah, but it, you're right, Brendan. It didn't make a whole lot of sense uh, how that happened. But, you know, there's next year. There's and next year. I hope he brings the belt because I, he's going to give it will. up next year, you know? Well, I'm kind of, I'm honestly kind of happy that if anyone were to take the belt, I'm glad it was him because he plays every year. It's Kim uh, Worthy's son. Oh, it's yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cody. So yeah. I'm, I'm kind of I mean, happy. We like Cody, least, but, you know, he's going to give up the belt next year. Oh, you're going to have to talk to Kim about it. He'll keep the yeah. belt. <laughs> make, sure, make sure Kim keeps Cody in line. <laughs> right. yeah. yeah. Don't want to let the belt go to his head. Yeah. He's going to be out in Vegas partying all week, right. you know, right. celebrating. Yeah. Got to worry about that. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on it. Yeah. <laughs> or we'll get a, or we'll get a life, uh, adult-sized one for next year. I don't know. I, I kind of like the tiny one. The tiny one's good, yeah. Oh. Tiny one's a classic. Now. King and Bear next year, though, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So that's going to be a change. I haven't played that. Rick, you played that course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Challenger should should be higher so, scores, but we'll see. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> we'll uh, see. It's going to be a little. It's if I remember, I haven't played it in a long time, but it's a lot less open than Slammer Squire. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Water wise, trees both. I, f- I just remember it being tighter. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Got it. Like, but but like a classic Jack Nicholas course. It, if you play a cut, it's really good. If you play a draw, it sucks for you, which doesn't Who cuts su- the ball. Doesn't suit my game. Yeah. Your brother. <laughs> power fade. Power fade. <laughs> Clo- think, close to a slice, but a power fade. <laughs> he was slicing it less than he played better yeah. than he played last year. Yeah, he was slicing he it did. less. He when he connects, he, he hit hits that the, clutch shot on the last hole. When you he, know, when he connects with the ball, he hits the ball yeah. a mile. I mean, he was taking. Yeah. I mean, not that he did it consistently, but he was taking <laughs> one like you would hit a seven iron, and he would right. hit an eight iron yeah. for like the same distance. Yeah, and it's not like you don't hit the ball far. Yeah, so it's just interesting. Hmm. But the thing is, like, it's just inconsistent. But when he connects, yeah. shout out to uh, Dr. Crean. Thanks mm-hmm. for playing with us. He yep. Did colorectal surgeon in town he's been on the podcast before he was our fourth and really enjoyed having him out there he had hands of a surgeon made Did. a bunch of clutch put, clutch putts and mm-hmm. kept us going so yeah it was a blast look Definitely. forward to doing it again next year but as we were talking about we have a member guest tournament next uh next weekend so rick and i have to uh, practice all week oh it's gonna be <laughs> hard to. yeah well not all week but we took a you know, couple days off later this week I don't consider myself a hero for having to do it, but you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you just got to make those sacrifices. You just got to do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I don't want. I don't want to hurt my shoulder patting myself on the back, but right. I'd like to think I'm sort of a hero. You know, yeah, I'm exactly. A winner in my own mind. Whatever helps you guys sleep at night. I sleep terribly. <laughs> <laughs> Well. You got to drink more melatonin <laughs> syrup, Rick. Oh, I thought you were just going to stop it. You got to drink more. <laughs> so I don't take any because I, I don't need anything to fall asleep. But, Miller Lite. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Great taste, less filling. <laughs> Sam Adams, is that what you drink, Brendan? No. No. Actually, Isn't that a New England it beer? Is. It is. Um, also gross. It is gross. <laughs> it's gross. Okay. What what is the preferred beer up there? Do people drink Sam Adams mostly? I think people just drink in Boston. Just drink, okay. 
Just if it has an alcohol <laughs> whatever content. Whatever you can Whatever you can mix in your Dunkin' Donuts cup. <laughs> Poor little Jim Beam any, and that any, Dunkin'. Anything. Is it alcoholic? We're not plugging any of these companies. Well, I don't think Florida has a much better alcoholic <laughs> reputation. That's true. Pretty sure most of the country just thinks our entire state is buzzed at all times. Are they wrong? No. I but I love Florida. <laughs> all it's about. That's why we live here. Mm-hmm. So what else? What else we got? You want to talk about Florida, Georgia? Huh. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> The result was as expected.